Welcome back to the Crypt Labs YouTube channel. Sunday sermons, you know, I like to just kind of riff off the top and share a message every Sunday. I do a lot of thinking in the morning. I took the old 1947 willies out to the top of the mountain, almost got stuck, pretty much lost. And I thought this is a great opportunity to talk about something that I've been thinking about probably for the last few weeks. I've been chatting about it a little more, but it's about money, but it's not about money. I spent 12 years, more than 12 years, chasing money. Thinking that more money was going to make me feel different. Thinking it was going to make me feel more secure. Thinking it was going to make me feel more confident. Thinking it would solve my problems. And I'm going to make this really, really quick. In the comments during this video, leave anything you'd like to add because I think this is the one, one of the most important money conversations you can have, yet no one's having it. And I used to make 30, 40 grand a year. Felt the same. I used to make 100 grand a year. Felt the same. I was making a couple hundred grand a year in my first business. Felt the same. I moved to 50, 60, 70, 80, $100,000 a month. I felt the same. I still had my own problems. I, none of my problems magically vanished. That was pretty obvious, right? Got into crypto, got into DeFi, got into investing, started making more passive and leveraged income than I used to make actually working per hour and like working jobs or working in a business. Still felt the same. And that's when a truth hit me, is money is only good for one thing. Only one. Buying your time back. And when you can buy your time back, then you can spend that time solving the problems that money could never solve. And most people, if they're unaware or if they're just not willing to actually look, they keep chasing more money, buying fancier things, buying fancier cars, and that in and of itself, there's nothing wrong with having a fancier car. Going on fancier holidays, spending more money, nicer dinners, more holidays, whatever it is, trying to fill a void. Trying to fill a hole. My hand is up because I did that. I experienced that. And at some point, you start asking the question, what is missing? Many people go on spiritual quests. Maybe they'll, they'll find a religion. But ultimately, what they're doing is starting to answer that fundamental question. And nowadays, a lot of my work is on the stuff that money can't buy. It's on me, my character. It's on my fears. It's on my traumas. It's on the things we've been through that shaped who we are that maybe no longer serve us. It's on asking deeper questions. It's on really asking, why am I here? What level of service to the world do I want to provide? How do I want to help people? It's not unnatural for someone to do, start doing really, really well and then want to give back to the people on the things that they figured out worked for them. You'll notice a lot of time in the YouTube comments, someone will be like, well, if someone's so successful, why would, they, why would they be doing YouTube videos? This video, if it helps one person, is more fulfilling for me to create than make it another 100 grand or see in my portfolio do another 2x, 3x, 5x. Been there done that, that's great. This is more fulfilling to me. Hands down. It's Maslow's hierarchy of needs. You just, you figure one thing out, then you figure the next thing out, then you figure the other thing out. It's like the hero's journey. You just want to give back. I will do this until the day I die in some way, shape, or form. Be able to serve and give back. There's only so much you can drive the R8. There's only so many dollars you can add to your bank account. There's only so much time you can spend driving the willies. There's only so much time you can spend traveling, which my life lately has been insane traveling, but there's nothing better for me to go back to the hotel room and film something or give back in some way. And so I urge you, or my message to you, is if you've been chasing money, totally fine, I totally get it, that's everyone's journey. But if you're starting to get to the point where you're like, hmm, more money isn't making me feel any different. <laughs> More money's not solving my problems. You got 
one of two choices. You ignore that and you keep trying to make more money and keep having more experiences and keep trying to fill that void. Or you just start stepping into maybe getting curious of that question and saying, hmm, all right, maybe the answer isn't more money. And by the way, more money is not a bad thing. It's just at some point our motivation behind it changes. And maybe we start using that beautiful thing that we're able to buy back, which is our time, to start solving the problems that money can never, ever solve. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Never. That choice is ultimately yours. This has been on my mind a lot because the last few years has been that transition for me. I think the question that is great to answer is like, if, if you got a hundred million dollars, what would you do? And I've meditated on that a ton, especially over the last year. And honestly, the answer is I would just do more of what I'm doing. We would just be able to hire more people, do more things, reach more people, maybe build a bigger headquarters. But for the most part, I just keep doing what I'm doing. I would just do more of it. And I'm so blessed that over the last five years, I've just kept asking the question for more alignment so I could feel the way I feel. Whereas if you asked me that eight years ago, if I gave you a hundred million dollars, what would you do? I would have changed everything in my life. And that was a shitty way to live. Just being honest, it was a shitty way to live. (sighs) Your definition of success, so many people's is just more money. I'm like, that's not the definition. (laughs) There is a there is a cap to that, and that actually that ceiling is very low. Once you can put food on the table and roof over your head and maybe do a few extra activities, and maybe take care of a few people, after that, it's diminishing returns on money. What do you want to do for the rest of your life? Mm. Do that. Do that. Appreciate you. I'm going to zap on out of here. I got a ways to go with the old willies. It's got a turbo diesel in it. It's freaking so much fun. I love driving this more than the R8, to be honest with you. It's more, it's definitely more me. So I'm going to go have some fun with it. Get my ass home. I hope this message finds you well. Like, subscribe. I'll put some more videos up here and here and here. Crypto, DeFi, financial education, financial freedom, and of course, mindset. And to me, it's that emotional, spiritual, mental work we do to create a holistic version of success, which I'm a practitioner of. I don't think I'll ever even get there. I'm just like, I stand for that. Every part of my being stands for it. So it's not separate, it's together. With that said, I'm gonna get out of here. Appreciate you. Peace.